Okay, I wanted to do a second part to the Born Pretty um, Blooming uh, Nail Polish, which is done with this uh, clear. And these are regular polishes that are supposed to mimic the effect of the blooming gels. And um, I really wanted to find a way to use these on the nail um, not having to make a decal like the last time I showed um, because it's just easier to do on the nail. And I think I found a good way um, as on my index finger there and my uh, pinky. I don't like the way the two in the middle there came out. Um, and I'll explain the difference here. So first I want to talk about this clear because when I pulled it out to use and I'm capping this so I can show you and hopefully you can see that on the bottom there there's a bunch of white speckles and I'm not sure what those are I think it picked up um, my white base from last time and I didn't close this well obviously because it's leaking a bit but um, but I think that's what it is, is that it picked up the base from last time, the white base. So this time I have top coated my white base before I'm, I'm using the, the clear because I don't want that to keep happening. Um, so just in case you have that, um, maybe you can confirm that that's happening or if you haven't had it happen, if you top coat um, your base before using. So what I did was I put this on and then on the nail and then put the the colors on if I put too much of the clear on and go all the way to the free edge like I did on these two nails then that's the effect that I got but I like the more sort of watercolory abstract and less blending that I got if I used less of the clear that I did on my index and pinky so on my thumb here I'm going to show you what I did so I'm just going to take some of the clear and dot it on. Okay. And I want to make sure that I don't go toward the edges with any of that clear. I don't want it on the side. I don't want it near the top. Um, that was the orange. This is the yellow. It's going to blend a little bit with that, which I like. And then I'm going to put some of this pink on. And, and even with that, I think I put a little bit too much of the clear on because it blends a little bit too much, but I still quite like that effect. And then I'm going to be adding um, some stamping to it next, and I'll show that part. I'm going to go let these dry thoroughly and then apply a water-based top coat to it and then come back and show you the stamping. All right, so over those, I applied the Born Pretty No Smudge top coat. And even with this, there was some smudging and the brush did pick up some color. So I would definitely recommend wiping off the brush um, on a paper towel or something before you put it back into the bottle so you don't pick up color. But after that has dried, what I did was on these four, I stamped with some of these open flower images from Born Pretty A01 Flower Tango. And I quite like these kind of open flowers for something like this, where you want the color to sort of show through and, and it gives it an abstract feel to it um, that I really uh, quite like. And I ended up just picking different um, images and I've used this one and that one and that one and uh, one other one, this one so far, I think. And I think I'm gonna use this big one. Um, on my thumbnail here. So I'm going to turn it this way. All right. And maybe zoom in a tiny bit more so you can see that image there. Oops, sorry for the camera shaking. Okay. All right. I use my typical black, the El Corazon black stamping polish. Scrape with my favorite Creative Shop. 
scraper and this edge always presents a bit of a problem but and you pick up a little bit more there but it's not a problem because I'm going to stamp around it and just sort of align it up how you like it to look and stamp Just make sure it all took and push down the sides and there you go so I'll do clean up and apply my regular um, top coat but I really like all these products that I've gotten from Born Pretty for review here uh, I love this plate and I still really quite like these um, the uh, blooming Imp impression series and uh, now that I figured out how to use them on my nail, and I don't know if I um, reminded you guys, but the reason why I didn't like trying to put it over the full nail before is that if you get it into the side walls and into the cuticles, it can be really difficult to clean up um, and it can stain the skin as well. There's something about this formula that makes it pretty um, stainy on the skin. So I quite like this method better. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments.